Okay, welcome back everybody. This is going to be chapter three of Sinners and Saviors uh, in Detective Die, The Silk Rose Murders. So, starting from the start, obviously, we are going to move to the right courtyard. And from here, we're going to go all the way over to the lobby and we're going to be discussing with Lieutenant Ma. So we are going to exhaust the dialogue. There we go. Okay. Next, we are going to move all the way over to the morgue, which, if you remember, is on the right side. We are going to talk to Coroner Yao. And once we've done that, we are going to exhaust all of the dialogue. Okay, once we've done that, we are going to, uh, let's just double check, we did get the silk rose petal off him. Yes, we did, fantastic. We are gonna go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby and get ourselves some snacks by going to the courtyard. And we are then going to go to the map. You think that we could look at a map in our pockets, but apparently not. Central Market. We are going to speak with Gang One, who is this gentleman. Okay, so once we have uh, exhausted all of the dialogue, you will see that we have got the fifth of five clues, our first. Okay, so now we've done that, we are going to look for the soup stand, which is just here. We are going to talk to this lady, Mrs. Cho. So, what do you want? Okay. 
Excuse me. Okay, so we're going to pick up the cat food that's down here. That's uh, next to the uh, next to Gang Wan's uh, silk shop. We are then going to pick up an umbrella, which you will find over here eventually. There we go. Going to pick up the umbrella that's down here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use the cat food with the uh, umbrella. And then we are going to use the umbrella fish skewer, which we've just created, on the chair that's right under the cat. There you go, and that's how you get the cat. And once we've done that, we can, uh, we can exhaust the dialogue. Okay, so now we've done that, we now need to interact with the posters. Oh. Okay, so we're obviously missing one. Okay, so now we've done that. We are going to uh, move all the way to the right so we can get uh, back to the map. And we're going to go to the Golden Gate Theatre. Once we're here, we are going to speak uh, to Gu Shan, who is here in the purple and red outfit. So we are going to obviously exhaust all of the uh, dialogue. Okay, so we've now got the strange notes. We have uh, the second of five clues, our second. So let's take a look at this. So, once we've done that, we are going to go back to the Imperial Library. So we need to go to the map first. Right. Well, we should be able to get to the Imperial Library. This 
just go back to the Golden Gate Theatre for a moment. Okay, so we're not going to the Imperial Library yet. We need to go to instead uh, Han Sidong's house. So we're going to go there. Summon the rose and take it. Then we're going to go to the uh, inventory. Examine this. Examine the uh, silk rose. No, we're not going to go in yet. Can we do anything with the boats? I don't think we can. Best we do examine it though. So let's bang on the door. Okay. So we're missing a handle. That's oh, jammed as well. So do we have anything that we can put in there? New. No. Hello Darth, how are you doing? Okay, so once we've gone there, we're going to go to... Okay, once we've uh, got the items in here, what we want to do is we want to uh, examine the strange notes, take a look at those. And then once we've done that, we want to look at the copied symbols. And it will mention the Imperial Library. Now we can go to the Imperial Library, which you'll find at the north of the city. So we are going to speak first to Kong Meng Tao. Right, so the first word that we need is ash. And then the second answer is dust. Okay, so we get the bookmark. Uh, we're going to use the bookmark on the two librarian gentlemen. So once we've dealt with those, OK, 
Okay, so now we're going to go to the central market, which is over here. Going to walk all the way to the left once the game lets us move. And uh, we are going to talk. Oh, go away. We are going to go all the way over here. And we're going to speak to Ying Yali. So we're going to exhaust the dialogue. Okay. We are going to go move back to the map and right back to the Imperial Library. going to take the plaque Yoink. and then once we've gone in uh, no I've gone the wrong way once we've got the plaque we are going to uh, go back to the central market And once again, we're going to go all the way to the left and use the plaque on the flower lady, Jing Yali. Okay. We are now going to go back to uh, Han Sidong's house. Let's examine the flower pots. And we get the wooden contraption. You have to examine the plant pots twice there. Okay, we are now going to interact with the door. And I believe the wooden contraption is something that goes on there. Because every good detectives uh, every good detective knows where to put his knob. So once that's in there, it does have to do with the uh, things, but we're going to rotate this to the right. We're going to rotate the right knob to the left. We're going to rotate the left knob to the left. There we go. going to go inside and interact with the chest. Take the silk cloth. Going to uh, take a look at all of them.
Okay, so after we've examined all of that and attempted to leave the chest, we get the fourth of five clues, our third. And that will unlock us a 100G for uh, the balance. We're then going to move all the way back to the map and go to the uh, central market. We are going to be using the silk cloth on Ying Yali, on Jing Yali. Sorry, can't speak today. Oops. Okay. Okay, so we're going to use oh, we're going to use the copied symbols on Jing Yali as well. Okay. So we've got the third of five clues, our fourth. Right, now we're going to uh, move to the map. the mountain pass and just to be sure let's make a safety save just in case well, let's just check it has saved wonderful right moving on then so I want to pick up the wooden rod that's here at, under the cart whoops pick it up there we go we are going to move to the right and speak to Commander Yao. So you want to have the top answer for that and you'll get the 100G Family Matters uh, achievement. If you go for the, uh, if you accidentally do the bottom answer first, you won't be able to get that answer. Uh, so which is why I did um, end that achievement, which is why I did make a safety save just in case. Uh, if you can no longer speak to this woman, um, load up the safety save that we just made and uh, you'll be able to try again. 
Okay, so we are going to move to the hillside now, following the footsteps. I believe we should have two achievements left. There you go. Okay, so we now have the five clues. We just got the first of the five. That was our fifth, and that will give us uh, 100G, History for Violence. This leaves us one remaining achievement. Okay, so we are going to uh, interact with Han Sidong. We have the cylindrical key. going to go back to this place. We are going to use the cylindrical key that we just picked up and we're going to put it on the tomb. No we're not. We're going to zoom in and now we're going to use the cylindrical key. So the clue on the lanterns just outside are the left one being first plane and now hallowed earth. The second one reads later forged by fire and sealed by water and the solution to push the buttons would be earth, fire, water. The symbols for that are earth, uh, which is this first one here. <coughs> Excuse me. Fire, which is this one here. And water, which is this one here. That opens the door. We are now going to uh, go inside. And we're going to walk to the right and speak to Empress Wu. And unlike Ric Flair, she will not do a woo. Okay, we need to use the wooden rod that we got earlier on the slots. This was from beneath the car on the mountain path, if you remember. Those things on the right are not uh, going to be good. Okay, we need to move to the inner chamber quickly. Can take this wooden tablet. We're going to go back to the corridor and then we are going to uh, 
use a wooden tablet on the water. Oh, come on. Just there. Okay. Now we're going to interact with the puzzle to the right of the slot, which is this. So we want it to read water, fire, metal. So water, fire, metal. There we go, water, fire, metal. Short time later. Choose trust, and we're going to go through all the options. Now Han Si Dong. And about women's scripts. And at this point, you will get the last achievements for completing the game. But however, just for the point of finishing off, we will uh, proceed forward. And we're going to speak with the deer.
Now we've done that, we're going to go into the tower entrance. And that is the end of the game. everybody for watching I hope you uh, have enjoyed this walkthrough um, gotta say I love the art style for this game very very beautiful pixel scenery um, so yeah thank you everybody for watching and we'll see you soon <laughs>